Did you know your skin and nails can provide early warning signs of heart disease? Now these signs show up on all skin tones, but they can look different on white and black skin, which is why in today's video, we're going to break down 12 key warning signs of heart disease and explain how they appear on different skin types. Now, recognizing these signs could help you catch heart disease early, which is really important for treatment. But it's also really important to remember that not all of these signs necessarily indicate heart disease, which is why it's always important to consult your own health provider before jumping to any conclusions yourself. So the first common sign is swelling in your feet and lower legs, which is medically known as edema. Now, edema appears the same on both white and black skin, and it appears as puffiness in the feet and lower legs most typically. Now, if you notice your shoes, for example, feeling tight, or deep sock marks that are left on your skin after you've removed your socks, this could be a sign of fluid buildup due to heart issues. Now, it's especially important to pay attention to this if it comes with other symptoms like fatigue or shortness of breath. Now, if the edema is really bad, it can even go all the way up the legs and it can even affect your lower back. And in men, the penis can become extremely swollen when there is severe edema. Now, number two is blue or purple skin, which is medically referred to as cyanosis. Now, for white skin, cyanosis shows up as a bluish tint most typically, but on black skin, it may look grayish or ashy, particularly around the lips, gums, and nails. Now, this occurs when your blood isn't getting enough oxygen, usually due to poor circulation or blocked blood vessels. Now, if you notice these color changes, it could be a serious sign that your heart isn't supplying enough oxygen to your tissues and you should seek medical advice. Third is a blue or purple net-like pattern on your skin, which is medically called levido reticularis. Now, on white skin, this typically appears as a bluish or purplish net-like pattern. On black skin, it might show up as a darker brown or purple patch in a web-like pattern. Now, this could be harmless if it appears just when you're cold and goes away when you warm up. But if it persists, it might signal blocked arteries, so it's best to get it checked by a doctor. Now, fourth are yellowish orange waxy growths on your skin. Now, these are called xanthelasma or xanthomas, depending on where they appear. Now, xanthelasma and xanthoma are both related to cholesterol deposits in the skin, but as I mentioned, they differ in their location. Xanthelasma specifically refers to cholesterol deposits that occur around the eyes, particularly on or near the eyelids. Now, these deposits are typically yellowish, flat, and soft to touch, and they are usually smaller and more localized to the eye area. While xanthelasma itself isn't necessarily dangerous, it can signal high cholesterol or lipid levels in the blood, which increases the risk of heart disease. However, it's worth noting that some people with xanthelasma may have normal cholesterol levels. On the other hand, xanthoma is a broader term that refers to cholesterol deposits that can appear anywhere on the body. Now, these deposits, like I mentioned, are not restricted to the eye area. They can be found on places like the elbows, the knees, the hands, the feet, the buttocks, or even more unusual locations. Now, xanthomas may vary in size, ranging from small bumps to larger raised nodules, and they're typically yellowish, orange, and waxy in appearance. Now, the presence of xanthomas is usually more indicative of an underlying systemic issue, such as familial hypercholesterolemia, which is where high cholesterol runs in families, diabetes, or other disorders to do with your metabolism. Now, the fifth potential skin sign of heart disease are sudden appearances of waxy bumps, which are known as eruptive xanthoma. Now, these waxy bumps can look like pimples or a rash, and they're caused by extremely high cholesterol or triglycerides. Now, on black skin, they may appear reddish-brown, whilst on white skin, they often look yellowish. Now, these bumps are a signal that your cholesterol is dangerously high, which can lead to heart disease. Now, if you notice these suddenly, especially with other symptoms, such as, for example, chest pain, shortness of breath, or extreme fatigue, then you need to see a doctor right away. By the way, if you're finding this video helpful and the information useful, please do consider subscribing to the channel. Now, the sixth potential sign of heart disease are what we call downward curving nails and swollen fingers, medically referred to as clubbing of the fingernails. Now, clubbing happens when your nails curve downwards and the tips of your fingers can become swollen and they can look a little bit like drumsticks. 
And whilst there are many potential underlying causes of clubbing, one of them is heart disease. So even though it's sometimes harmless, it is important to have it checked out to rule out more serious issues. And I've made a separate video on clubbing elsewhere on the channel, which you might want to check out by clicking up here. The other thing to mention is that I've included lots of resources to do with all of these signs and symptoms that go into much more detail in the description box of the video. So if you want to check out those, please do so. So the seventh potential sign that you can see in the fingers are red or purple lines under your nails, which are called splinter hemorrhages. And they're named like this because they look like little splinters of blood. Again, there are many potential causes of these, but on white skin, they can appear as red or purple streaks, whilst on black skin, they might look brown or black. Now, most commonly, they can be caused by injuries. But if you don't remember hurting your nail, then it could be a potential sign of heart disease or other conditions. So it's worth seeing your doctor if this is the case. Number eight are smooth, waxy lumps on your skin. These are known as nodules of systemic amyloidosis. Now, these lumps can appear anywhere on the skin. On white skin, they're often pale or slightly yellow, whilst on black skin, they may appear lighter than the surrounding skin or as shiny raised patches. Now, these lumps are a sign of protein buildup in the organs, including the heart, and they should be taken seriously as they can interfere with your heart function. Number nine are painful lumps in your fingers and toes. These are known as Osler nodes. Now, Osler nodes are small, painful lumps that can develop in the fingers or toes. On white skin, they can appear as red or purple lumps, whilst on black skin, they may show up as dark purple or reddish brown lumps. They're usually linked to heart infection, known as infective endocarditis, which requires treatment with antibiotics. So if you notice these, it's important to get checked out. Number 10 are brown or red spots on the soles of your feet or your palms. Medically, these are known as Janeway lesions. Now these spots are painless and appear on the soles of your feet or your palms. On white skin, they can appear as reddish brown spots, whilst on black skin, they might show up as darker brown or purplish spots. These are another sign of infective endocarditis, a serious heart infection that needs medical treatment. Number 11 is a non-itchy rash with slightly raised edges. This is known as erythema marginatum. Now this rash often appears as flat, slightly raised spots with defined edges. On white skin, it's usually red or pink, whilst on black skin, it might appear as darker patches or have a subtle raised border. Now this rash is associated with something called rheumatic fever, which can lead to serious heart disease if it's not treated. So if you or your child develops this after a strep throat infection, it's important to see a doctor right away. And finally, at number 12, is a rash and cracked bleeding lips. This is known as Kawasaki disease. So Kawasaki disease affects young children and often presents with a high fever, a rash, and cracked bleeding lips. On white skin, the rash is typically bright red, whilst on black skin, it might look darker or purplish. Now, this condition affects the blood vessels and it can lead to heart complications if it's not treated. So if your child does show these symptoms, it's really important to seek medical help immediately. Remember, these signs can look different depending on whether you've got different skin tones, so it's important to know what to look out for in your skin type. If you do notice any of these symptoms, make sure to consult a health provider because whilst it could be entirely harmless, if it is caused by a heart issue, early detection is key to preventing heart disease from progressing.